Good morning, all of you. Now, children, I am going to explain body type. For better understanding, we divide it in following states. First, endomorph body. Second, mesomorph body. Third, ectomorph body. Now, children, we will study endomorph bodies. Before a study, the endomorph body, I want to draw your attention on the blackboard. I have printed a figure which is related with endomorph body. Now, children, we are seeing in this figure facts are deposited all over the body. So, we can say about the endomorph body. Endomorph body has lot of fat lot of muscles and weight. This type of body are fit in football line men. Now, children, we will study the characteristic of endomorph body. Now, I want to draw your attention again on the figure, especially on hip and shoulders. We are seeing in the figure, hip is white and shoulders are narrow. So it is the main characteristic of endomorph body. Now first, white hip and narrow shoulders. White hip and narrow shoulders. Second, characters. Now children, we are seeing in the figure lot of fat has spread all over the body. And it is the main character of endomorph body. So we can say second character that a lot of fat across again a lot of fat has spread across the body, including upper arms and thigh, including upper arms, upper arms and thigh. Now third, white, white bones structure. Now fourth characteristic that will be weight gain is easy. But fat loss is difficult. It is all about your endomorph bodies and its characteristic. Now, children, rest mesomorph and ectomorph I will explain in next class. So at last, I will give you assignment, session one, which you will download from Google Classroom. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning, all of you. Now children, I am going to explain the main objective of physical education. For better understanding, 
we divide it in following steps. First, physical development. Second, mental development. Third, psychological development. Fourth, emotional development. Fifth, social development. Sixth, neuromuscular development. And last, development of the health. Now children, we will consider the physical development. Children, physical development is a development of organ systems like as a muscular system, a skeletal system, respiratory system, excretory system, circulatory system and digestive system. Children, physical education is related with physical activities. When we perform the physical activities, these activities affect on organ systems and provide better sight, sap and efficiency. It is all about your physical development. Now second, mental development. Children, it is in two-way process. First, physical education sharpen our mind. And second, it performs the various type of activities concentration of mind is essential. Without concentration of mind, it is not possible to perform any type of physical activities. It is all about your mental development. Now, third, psychological development. Children, we can see about the psychological development when a physical teacher teaches any lesson of physical education. At that time, first, he has to read out he has to find out the face impression of the children. Suppose that children want to play any games. At that time, it will be no use to teach them in such a condition. So at last we can say it is must to find out the interest of the children before teaching process. It is all about the physical, uh, psychological development. Now, emotional development. Emotional development we can see in this stage each individual has various type of emotions like as happy, happiness, pleasure, hate, fear, fear, angry, jealous, so on. So, If the individual 
does not have control over the emotions. He becomes abnormal and uncontrollable. It is all about your emotional development. So, I have already explained physical development, mental development, psychological development, emotional development. But psych uh, social development neuromuscular development and development of health, I will explain in next class. Have you clear? Thank you. So at last, I will give you the assignment for session 2, which you will download from Google Classroom. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning all of you. Now children, I am going to explain the main objective of physical education. Children, physical development, mental development, psychological development and emotional development I have explained in previous class. But now I am going to explain the social development. Second, neuromuscular development. And third, health development. Now, children, we will consider social development. Children, Man is a social animal and can't live without society. He follows the rules, regulations, traditions and law of, law of society. He also learned the social rules and regulations which make him socially. Now, children, the social development in this state, we can see in society, he also tried his best to stop the evils of the society and lead the progress of community. In this way, the physical education provides good opportunity for social development. Now it is all about your social development. Second, neuromuscular development. Children, brain and the body are two separate things and are interdependent. So, neuro development of neuromuscular skills and various type of activities like as a running, jumping, catching, throwing, so on. It develops the control and balance of the body. 
कि वी हैव गुड न्यूरो मस्कुलर कोऑर्डिनेशन वी गेट एक्यूरेसी एंड एस गोथ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द Now, third point: health development. Now, children, development of health is an objective of physical education. It develops the health. That means. it is related with the habit through health education and it also provide the prevention of communicable diseases it is all about your social development neuromuscular development health development have you clear thank you at last i will give you the assignment for session 3 which you will download from google classroom thank you and have a nice day